Hello, Spreaker listeners. Cosmic Joe with, with some movie reviews. Starting at Netflix. Whenever the recent movies I've seen was Animal 2014. Uh, we get kind of bad. But Dursley Predator, who looks like a alien type of beast. Um, I gave it three out of five stars. And um, it was enjoyable. And uh, unlike me, Beast the Lab, um, digital animations and stuff. So I, I think a movie monster was pretty good. Another movie I seen was and so and so it goes with Michael Douglas, Diane Keaton, the crab father, and oh, where there were, but where there was, John um, a bunny furry. And seeing this funny movie directed by Rod Briner. But money on you known to be a excellent director and he does a does an excellent job. I keep this movie a five on the five stars. I liked it so much. Another one of the new ones is BSS Viral. Third installment of the series. And go through a bunch of time warp scenarios and all about the internet and how obsessed people can be. I gave this a four out of five stars. I enjoyed it. Another one I watched over again is our. Dario Trento's Dracula with Roger Hauer, Asa, Asa Argento, who stars as in most of Dario Trento's movies, his daughter. And it was a great adaptation of this story. Was I gave five of other five stars. Jay and Son of Bob's Sue Groovy cartoon movie. I was a bit raunchy for me, really. I did enjoy it. So I gave it a three out of five stars. Let's see. Racy and Rich. Next. Fixer and Merciful. Um, this would be better off at a Disney Channel, rather than um, Netflix. I don't like it very much, so I only gave it one out of five stars. Another one was Drive Word. With John Cusack and Diamond Chain. A simple forward race car driver. Um, and in this um, rock driving school, gets abducted by a mobster. And we'll go on a getaway chase, and it was pretty awesome movie. Was I gave five of the five stars. Russell Brand, Beside Complex, it was a very very funny, creative, sit down stand up, you know, stand up comic. We we'll see. Basically, 
compares himself in diverse aspects of Elba's life to different messiahs. And I thought it was funny and fed him and created him and you know it took my kept my interest so I gave it a five I gave gave it a four out of five stars. Another one was Asshole versus Cradle was um was Corey it was full of richery and wish crap and they'd be like that sort of thing you would like this type of movie. So I'll keep this a three out of five stars. The Netflix and Virgil are breakable Kimmy Smith. Which I saw Ellie Kempter and Gene Krakowski stars in this um, funny tale of a person that was in an honor grab with a, a few other girls for 20 years and didn't know the Rouse I rolled even assisted. It was very, very funny. Um, written in, by Tina Fey, who stars in it. Um, I gave this a five out of five stars. So I really liked this. I thought it was awesome. And get my interest fully. Nice one I'm going to review on Netflix is Ox of Cards. Kim and Spacey and Ryan were in the right. It was a third season I watched. I thought it was a bad It was the fourth episode in a church at the end was really, really um, riveting to me, and I, um, I will give him a better rating than this, I will give it a, a better rating than this, but the last episode, I thought they was lackluster, and I, um, didn't like the way it ended. It was like they brushed the last episode along. So, um, I gave this a 4 out of 5 stars the third season. And other seasons, I gave a 5 out of 5 stars. So, for Netflix, that's what I enjoyed on Netflix. A new loop blast. I like the TV shows. I watch a lot of TV shows as well as some movies on this network. I get my TV pictures, things I haven't seen people were or need new shows. And some of the shoes I'll watch. Alert Rise to Counterford. I'm on the first season on that. I'll give this series a 5 out of 5 stars because I enjoy it a lot. The Slap. Um. I could not watch this show. I am um, trying to watch it. I thought it was good. For premise of um, spoil around a kid who the parents could not control, get slapped. Um, I got my opinions about that, so I'll only, I'll only give this show a one out of five stars. I stopped watching it because it was terrible to me. I didn't really like it. On the other hand, the new season agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. has given me my interest fully. And 
but they are including a bunch of comic book characters now, and I thought it was, I thought it was awesome, so I am, um, get that a five of five stars. The Flash, this show rocks. I'm the kind of merciful, um, Um, I'll give this a five of the five stars as well as the arrow. Was that boot? Is joy? Crim? It's the same way. I really like that shoe. Five of the five stars on Crim. So, see what movies I watched. Must have not a movie son. This is not a movies I haven't watched. Um the movies on Amazon Fram is what I'm gonna go to next. Hello on the air. TV listeners and viewers for all around the planet. I do these reviews so you can see my opinion on certain shows and hopefully if we get to news these services especially Netflix you will see a lot of great movies I uh, would rather pay money to watch, um, you know, Netflix movies than rent them. I mean, I don't have movie channels per se. Anyway, starting out with, um, the man who wasn't there, old Steve Gutenberg movie, I think it was a TV movie, but I thought it was kind of lame, and for the, by the visible man, it was the worst one was I ever seen, so this old movie, I don't give it but two out of the five stars. Another old movie was A Facing of the Bee Girls. Um, like the first serious deaths of men, bodies, women, and it was kind of art there. It was a 70s movie, 60s movie that can. I didn't like it too good, so I only gave it a two out of five stars. The Long Riders, the Long Riders, um, old movie, starring David Carradine, Keith Der Carradine, um, the Craigs, Randy Craig was in it, and I suppose a. Uh, a um, lot of people who see who was in the cast. David Carradine, Stacey Keats, Dennis Craig, Keith Carradine, Robert Carradine, James Keats, and Bernie Craig was an awesome Last turn, I really, really liked. I gave it a five out of the five stars. Night in an alien. I was having this poem, but it amazed me how bad it was. Um, it was 
Exactly. Claim to the to be an alien and the stoner, you know. I like stoner movies somewhat, but all don't like this one. Really. <laughs> I'll keep in the one of the out of five stars. Another one I watched was Listen Up Philip. Starring Jason Schwartzman and Elizabeth Moss. Oh, writer with writer's block and very, very, uh, mainly was an asshole. Really. And and the movie posted him as an asshole and really did it not really good any or Pablo Huffman I thought it was, thought it was name and I didn't really, really like it I gave it a 2 out of 5 stars on the other hand Robin Wright at Congress was a amazing film where she was getting older, plays herself, and wants to digitalize her likeness. And but in order to do that, she was taken by any rights she had to um being in any more films. And so I was thought it was amazing. Um, then they went to it was uh, at the ending. It was uh, animations, like she was going through the animated world by pushing a ticket and driving through this area. But <laughs> I thought it was thought it was awesome. It really was trippy it really was amazing to me so I gave it a five of the five stars too and the Netflix and Russell Bratch I thought it was awesome a cop Chasing this, you know, criminals around. And it was about the kids being taken away and a murder mystery in ten parts, was was I really liked. If you get Netflix or if you get about Sound Prime, you know anybody that has it. Check this movie out. Give it a five out of five stars too. I know I give it a lot of bonus this the parody the last full market recommend or review is called The Hungover Games. What's the parody of the anger movies? And the Hogger Kings. And he picked the uh, comedians that, um, mimic, um, these stars. And this, oh my, the thought it was funny. It was a lot of funny parts in it. A lot of interesting variations of films. And this one. So I like it as good as the uh, Immersal Poems. They were very, very. It was very funny. And I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. That's it for the video movie reviews for Netflix, Dudu Plus, Amazon. I get rid of my HBO Sue time whatever because you know 
All the channels was cost me 40 bucks a month. Now, I get Netflix, and I get Hulu Plus, and Amazon, it only cost me, you know, like 24 bucks a month. Or, you know, but Amazon Prime is the way to go to me. Because you got, um, you got, you got movies, you got music. The music aspect of it is amazing because you can upload or whatever on the music they got on their library. You can, but they provide for you, and I uh, got a lot of. Music I don't, you know, I cannot listen to with all so much much music that I think um paying ninety nine dollars a year for this is a good. And I just think that think it is awesome. So I, I really recommend Amazon. Prime for me, Cosmic Joe, to all of you in North America, China, Asia, Japan, those who I bet this on the on the air TV. Take care, peace, love to y'all. Have, have a great spring time season take care